Welcome back to the homestead. Um, today, we'll be planting bare root strawberries. We're going to be planting it in this bed. I got two types, so I'm curious to see how it goes. Now, I said in the instructions in the box from which I got, soak them for about 10 to 20 minutes. I let them soak for 20 minutes. I think I got more than 10. But uh, I watched a couple videos on the proper way to do this. Seems pretty cut and dry. So, let's get started. All right. Well, my ground is for I might not even need my shovel. But um, be sure to watch this video to the end because you don't want to miss anything. All right. Now, not that I can't figure out why I got weeds in this, but we'll get them out. Okay. So it states to um, dig a hole. And how you set these roots. They don't want them all twisted or anything. They want them spread out pretty good. So, we're going to lay them down in here. Where they're spread out pretty good. And you cover them up. Let's go a little deeper. Get them spread out. And cover it up to the crown. None of the roots can be exposed. And that's one. Probably won't need the shovel for the rest of them. So you dig a hole. Give me a strawberry plant. Get the roots to where they're down in there and cover it up to the crown. So we're going to do this for all of them. I know I'm planting them a little close together, but I want them to spread. Now, since this potting soil from one of my very first videos you seen where I mixed the compost and the uh, this potting soil the premium stuff together so I know this is really good soil okay so we got four in there I'm leaving enough room in this planter and with these strawberries when the other ones come up with seed then we're going to be planting them in the same place make sure not to expose the crown another one I always love strawberries there's a lot of things strawberries are good for if you have high cholesterol, kind of like I do, it'll help to lower it. So instead of going to a store and buying strawberries, I could just come out here and get what I need every day. Now, other than the seeds, I never really tried growing strawberries like this before. I tried a long time ago, but stuff in the mail didn't seem to survive the trip. They were bare root, but the way they wanted you to plant it didn't make any sense to me. So, 
These I got at a tractor supply. And it stated for this area in northwest Tennessee, plant in uh, February to May. Well, it's going to be March pretty soon, so tomorrow will be March 1st. Get these down in there. Put the crown down there a little bit. I say I have 10. I actually got a lot more than 10 in this batch. Some of them might have been shoots. Got a little baby one. We'll chuck it in here too. That's it for these. When I come back, I'm going to have the other ones ready to be planted. As you see, we got them all planted in there. Now we're going to start working on this one. He's been saturated in the ground for a while. Or I should say saturated in water. Pretty good. So they're ready to get out the roots in here. Get them buried. Some of them you have to really look where the crown is. But evidently they're not awake yet, at least not too much. I love my strawberries. Now it says in the instructions, fertilize after they start growing. Well, it does kind of have a head start because mainly because I got fertilizer mixed in with this uh, soil from last year. For those of you that watched that video, then you already seen what I did. Now since the, the soil is still moist, I won't really have to put any water in here probably until maybe tomorrow. But uh, so that's it. So, tell me what you think. Um, a little out of time. Homestead's coming together. My blueberries are actually starting to bud. Even though I did not cover my roses, I figure live or die, we'll find out. In the past, I've never, I only covered them once when they had a really deep snow. But uh, to me, it's water, and uh, that's what it gets. So, 
you like these type of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by my homestead.